It's been now seven, eight years, and I think, you know, we saw two years, the very first prototypes, and there were something that is so different than we saw today, and it was just, you know, dreaming. L'idée de la Shift est née en fait d'un collectif d'athlètes, du Mountain Collective, où les athlètes nous ont parlé qu'ils rêveraient d'une fixation de touring qui leur apporte plus de sécurité à la descente. We started this whole process of building the shift binding. Basically what we were trying to figure out, we were trying to figure out how to create a backcountry binding that toured like a pin binding, nice and effortlessly, but yet skewed like a downhill binding. First, when we, we, we've got the first prototype, we had a, a small piece in, in plastic, and um, in, a, in a pretty big jump in, a, in Canada, just to, um, we, we broke this piece and now, uh, after the, the thing we told us, they make uh, only one piece stuff and, uh, and it's not breakable now. So it's perfect for what we want to do with it. Les athlètes vont, vont plus euh, essayer d'avoir des choses vraiment innovantes, Ils vont casser les codes en termes d'idées. Ils vont nous jeter des idées et nous dire bah, essayez de faire ça. Et je pense qu'on peut avoir euh, des développements de produits qui sont beaucoup plus en rupture euh, qu'avec des process euh, normaux. We tested so many different versions of, of a binding that could tour like a pin binding but ski like a normal binding and they weren't working. They weren't skiing well, they weren't touring well, they were breaking and it wasn't until we saw what is essentially the blueprint for the shift binding today about three years ago that we realized like no this this could be good, this could be it. We were like freestyle skier and freeride skier. We like to go up but the, we like we really like to go down and jump some cliff and do some heavy stuff and uh, we didn't have the, the material to do that and uh, this is what we are waiting for because now we can do freestyle stuff with a um, binding we can go up so it's perfect for our way of uh, looking to the mountain. We need to, to finish this kind of binding and we need to be sure 100% you cannot leave a little part of uh, okay it, sh it should be okay no no we need to be perfect. So it's more that every year we are, we are working to reach this point. There is tons of input from everybody, but at the end you have to decide to have a choice. It's, it's more a choice between all the inputs and uh, decide, okay, we go in this direction. And it's my fixation every day, for three hivers, to also prove it, to understand how it works and to améliorer it, so that the day when it comes out on the market, this autumn, Elle soit aboutie et, et fiable. You don't really realize like how much technology goes into a ski binding because you just kind of click into it. But they they release in ways that protect your knees, protect your your bones, they protect your ligaments. Definitely ski touring. You have a lot of time in your brain, so a lot of you see kind of what works and what doesn't out there, and you think of ways you could do do things differently. And uh, I think it's a cool way for us to kind of give back because we take our knowledge that we gain from skiing every day and then like see how these products use and then try and make it better for the, the public and make the products better because at the end of the day that's that's what I want to do is is make products that everybody enjoys and they can enjoy skiing more.